experiencing loneliness during your spiritual waking. Hey guys, my name is Christian. That's what I want to get into today. I want to help you guys out with something that I've struggled with that I've kind of had to learn to deal with. And that's just being, being extremely anxious, but also being extremely lonely during this process. This process of going through an awakening when you start to become aware of a lot of things in your life, a lot of things that have been bringing you down, a lot of things that you maybe never wanted to look at in the past, trauma, you know, like patterns that you've had. When you start to kind of look at that stuff more and more and you become aware of it, it starts to be, you kind of, you know, I guess you guys know what I mean. You start to freak out. You start to have all these symptoms come up and because you're just, your body's going through chaos just knowing when you start to see those things for the first time and you freak out, it's like the mind doesn't want, did not want those to be seen. And when we start to see a lot of that stuff, we start to kind of, we, we freak out, maybe become a little bit reclusive. At least I did. And when I, when I did that, I, I, I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of people that I used to hang out with all the time. I just no longer resonated with who they were or, or their values on anymore. And I kind of, we, I didn't, I didn't ever made the choice, but naturally we just kind of split apart and I just lost a lot of contact with people. The way I describe this is just we, when we lose that, you're building up these new foundations and you build up these new foundations to, you know, you have, but before you can build up these new ones, you have to let the old, the old ones kind of wither away. You know, the other ones, the other ones have to come up when I talk about a lot of like stuff that has to come up to come out for a new foundation to be kind of brought in. You have to let the other one rise out. And there's a quote I heard the other day. Um, you cannot dispose of the self until you complete the self. And that makes, I mean, that resonated on a pretty deep level with me when you have to let your, that's why sometimes when you start to go through spiritual awakening, you start to become aware of some things. You start to see more of those things in your current reality. You start to see more and more of that stuff that's going on in your head pop up because that's what's coming up because you're so aware of it now. You see it now and it's causing all these emotions and reactions within you. You see these things now. You see them for what they are. And it's so intense because it's right in your awareness. If you you feel like maybe I picked this up somewhere because I didn't feel this up in the I didn't feel this in the past. Maybe we are we were feeling this in the past. We just didn't we weren't aware of it, so it wasn't as hardcore as it is now, maybe. And now that you start to kind of feel that stuff, you start to think, wow, like I'm kind of going crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm going insane. And that's why, because all these things start to come up when you start to see reflections in the world of what's going on in your head. Maybe you have a fear of not being good enough. And you start that starts to come up and come up and then you start to face that trauma head on. And what we do as humans, we like to kind of make sense of the world from what's going on in here, what's going on in your body. So if you, if I believe that I'm not good enough and I start to see, if I, if I, and, I, and I'll see something out in the world that I may perceive as, okay, this is evidence that I'm not good enough. Like if I see someone who, if I see someone kind of ignore me and not talk to me, but then go talk to a bunch of other people, I'll, I'll, fit, I'll my mind will say, okay, they just realized that I wasn't good enough because I already know that they realized that and now they moved on. That could have been the complete opposite of what happened, but that because our mind needs to make sense of it to fit our inner system, and it has to make sense of the world. So like, we'll kind of put these labels on stuff, and when you, like I said, when you had when that stuff starts to come out, it comes out when we, to build a new foundation up. That's tough. It's tough because it's tough not to kind of pollute it with the old patterns and old and old things that you're trying to get rid of, you know. And that's the thing when you do try to build up those new patterns. It's, it's tough. It takes some work. It takes some real inner work and some real shadow work. But now that you have the, the awareness of what, you, sometimes you become so aware of what's been hurting you, it becomes almost impossible to continue doing that, if that makes any sense. I used to, I was kind of gaslighted when I was younger, you know, and it caused me to gaslight others as well as myself. And I'm like around middle school and high school, I was, and I was, I was just kind of a, a generally mean person. I, I kind of put on a I kind of put on a front, but in the background I was kind of judging people and I was kind of making my own assumptions of them, and it led me to kind of just and once I started to be aware of that for the first time when I finally became aware of that, it was like a shell shock. It was like wow, I I, I felt so ashamed. I felt so terrible that I had done this to these people. I don't think I ever gaslighted them on purpose. I did it unconsciously because I didn't know how to deal with the pain hurt people hurt people I was hurt inside and I didn't know what to do with it so I decided to project that hurt onto other people 
And for a long time, I didn't know that I was doing that. But the second I became aware of it and started to realize in a couple of weeks and a couple of months and years go by that I'm aware of this, it's literally impossible for me to gaslight someone and not be aware of it now. Sometimes my brain will still do it and I'll kind of stop myself in the moment. And it's just learning to kind of see that stuff. And the loneliness part comes in because you feel like you have the, all these aware, they have this awareness of all these things going on inside you and you just start to feel lonely because there's no one else around who kind of values that you know one more thing i kind of want to get into with that a past point i made with lying i was also a, a kind of a bit of a liar like i would lie i see that a lot in my brothers and stuff too maybe they picked it up from somewhere but it's Sometimes my dad a little bit is guilty of it. Everyone is kind of guilty of something. But when we, I start to, for a long time, I would lie just to not be in trouble, just for people to like me. You know, I would, I would lie about myself. I would say I, that I do these things and that I've done this and that I'm this way, you know, just to get their approval. And now, the, as I became more and more aware of that as the years went on, it's physically impossible for me to lie to someone and not feel extreme shame afterwards. You know, like sometimes like little tiny white lies, I'll, I'll say, even a little tiny white lie, I'll say that and I'll be like, crap, I, it'll be stupid, but I'll go over to them and be like, hey, you know that thing I just said? I lied about that. I don't know why I did. You know, I, that's that's just kind of me trying to be more genuine and just maybe it's that back of my mind saying, hey, if you don't fix that mistake, you're going to get some karma or something, you know. But that loneliness can creep in when you start to realize that no one else is like that. Or you see, you start to see other people's patterns. Or better off, you start to see your own patterns in other people. You know, and you start to, it's like, wow, I'm, I can't really relate with this person because they're so much like who I was, who I've been trying to, I guess, complete. And that's, and like I said, that's like, that's like with the foundation. When your foundation's coming up, you start to see that. You start to see more people in your world who have that. You start to see more of that in your world. Like, like I said, because we try to make that inner dialogue make sense here. And you start to feel lonely and you, you feel like you've lost these people. You know, when I, start, when I started going through this, I lost a lot of friends who were, they were built off that old foundation that I had. You know, the, I, a lot of that old uh, gaslighty, judgmental, lying, compulsive lying, stuff like that. I, I had a lot of that stuff in me. And once I kind of started to complete that, you know, a lot of those people just kind of faded out of my life. You know, I don't really keep in contact with a lot of my old friends. I still there's a there's a few that I do keep in contact with, and I still do care about them deeply. But as human beings, we've kind of just drifted apart. You know, just we're just we just don't resonate with the same values anymore. And the loneliness creeps in. You know, like the loneliness definitely gets in there, and it's like you start to feel ashamed that you don't have as many friends as other people. I have maybe one or I have maybe two or three really good friends in my life. And that's about it. I try, I don't try not to, but I kind of just naturally go that way, go the route of not really trying to make friends, just tr trying to just be myself and be genuine. Sometimes if I feel like I'm kind of quiet or if I'm going through something in that day, I, I'll just, I'll be quiet. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to make friends, but I, I guess that's another block. I'm kind of realizing that right now. Like I do kind of want to make friends. Like I, that's the loneliness thing. It's like, I really want to make friends, but at the same time, do I really want hundreds of friends who are just, who are secretly kind of not really my friends, you know, like I do, I want that. And that's kind of a big part of it. Like experiencing loneliness can, there's not only connections with other people. It can be with, with your purpose with your purpose in life. It's like, do you some, when you sound and compare yourself to other people when you see hey this person has all these things going for them and i have nothing i have literally nothing like if you, you feel broken you feel like lonely you feel like you've you don't have purpose so if you don't without purpose in life you, it can cause a feeling of loneliness without and for a long time i experienced that i experienced that for a long time i still experience that because i'm still trying to do different things that make me feel passionate you know I feel like finding your one true pure purpose is a little overrated because throughout my life I've had multiple different things that kind of lit me up inside and as I go on I evolve more and more and more. So perhaps that purpose will change as time goes on but the feeling of loneliness 
what I would, what I was trying to get out of it is the feeling of loneliness can creep into other areas outside of connections with other people. And so I, I guess a part of feeling another thing of feeling lonely is that, like I said, with our purpose, we shift our goals. We start to shift our goals that kind of relate more to our new inner guidance and you start to leave some of those older foundations behind. You know, yeah, that, that's kind of like during that transition, there's a lot of loneliness. And sometimes we just don't know how to deal with that and we just let they kind of take over our lives. And just learning to deal with loneliness, it can, it's tough. It's a tough thing to deal with. And when you're going through a spiritual awakening, you start to experience these things, all these things happen around you, people not talking to you, and you just like getting really anxious and shameful. One thing I want anyone, someone to get out of this video is that it's okay. You know, just maybe embrace it because maybe that's just part of what, what life is right now. Just learning that we're safe. That it's like, okay, I'm feeling, it's like, I'm okay, but this thing, no, I'm all right. Like, I'm okay. Everything's going to be fine. That's all I wanted to do for today's video, guys. I hope you maybe got something out of that. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.